Ivali kšimi da matlova gada uhat kola ak Mosul bolše matki ras. Ti di kani argui tamashia. Ti namo are naze da. Ra uzan magari gane mo iko magari atmosfero iko da. Thor mechit uindaro es mo uindena es khar da guchiro ni mitaro mati khar da chera chuntu zaliyan di di siya mo nega ariza dan mukti ari chuntu zara u. Ti di matlova kola Mosul chuntu zda. Chuntu zda u pasat mast stadion is gaus sebada. Mo uindet tamashia mo ni sachiro iko khar bi das das khar gusu shwa. سالیان میخوایی ارد گس بوشیم ات که واری دبروند ات پیلیشی تیت میساوسی تریبونه بی خودا اما از سیامونو پخبرت لیستی سر پریاراریس میتونم ات اسرو میسه کارگات مویی که پلام از تامس که وقت ما اون دمیخوایی ارد چه میگویی تا وقت ما رو کنس دریان دلگامر جو باشی هم تو سالیان میخوایی ادکی دو ارد خو بوشیم ات که واری سالیان دیدی مطلب سالیان کارگی تماشی او بورتی کنداچن کارگات وی تماشه دا و تخت نولی موفقیت بورتی آرگا و شد دا تن میذ گاویت آنیگولی دا زالیان کارگیا. We knew before that Gibraltar maybe was the the little team of the group, but it's not because it's a little team that we had to to see them like that. We just wanted to focus on what we wanted to do. Which we have done it, I would say, good during 25 minutes in the first half and the last 20 minutes of the match. Um, but in between, um, I wasn't 100% uh, satisfied from our match because I think we could have done more. Um, but of course, we start a new competition, uh, winning 4 0 at home. Um, it's a good start. It will bring confidence to the player um, because now um, we know that the match in uh, Bulgaria is going to be very much different against a strong team. Uh, but I think the players are already ready for that. And um, just answering about North Macedonia, um, I don't want to focus on North Macedonia now. Uh, because we have Bulgaria first, and if we want to play a good match in North Macedonia, the best way is to make a good match in Bulgaria. Um, then, if I'm not mistaken about Lobianidze, uh, uh, Mikotadze, um, I think I saw, and I think we all have seen, um, that the Mikotadze from today wasn't the Mikotadze we had last uh, autumn in September and October. So I'm very happy about the hard work he made uh, in the last two, three months um, after March, March, where he has been a bit disappointed to not be uh, in the group. But I think he, r he realized that maybe we were right and worked even harder. And we saw today um, he has a very, he had a very, very good activity. Um, and about uh, Lobianidze, um, that's Lobo. Um, I love Lobo for that because he can run from the first to the last minutes without thinking too much, um, without thinking about himself first, but thinking also about the others. We saw the great pass he could, he had made, especially at the end. And uh, no, I was very happy with him. And the only thing now is uh, the next 48 hours will be very important for the players to recover, to recover energy because a tough match is waiting for us. If Chagvetadze played, it's because I have seen the last week we were together. He worked hard in training. He was very serious. Uh, and from my point of view, he did deserve to play. Um, you know, Chak Vitadze, we all know, he has a kind of talent, um, but it's just up to him um, if he wants to play or not. If he gives everything, I will give him the opportunity to play. If he doesn't, then he will stay on the bench or even, even he will stay at home. But today, he played 75 minutes, I think. Um, he made some good things, some of us not so good. But um, I think it was good for his confidence to play, to show also the, the stadium, the fans, and also the other players that um, he really wanted to help. And so I think it was positive. 
uh, to see if he's going to play against Bulgaria. That's another story. We will see how he will recover uh, because he did ask to get out. So it means he did feel either tiredness or maybe a little something. Let's, let's wait. As I said, I wasn't happy for the middle part of the match because I, I think we didn't respect enough uh, the football. Um, we, we had some players who, for me, from my point of view, uh, were playing a bit too easily. Um, and we, we missed a lot of pass, we missed a lot of good crosses uh, because we didn't have this 100% concentration that even against team like Gibraltar, you need to. Um, so no, I wasn't really happy. Um, but it's also my job to not be always 100% happy. Um, if we want to get better, uh, if we want to improve, uh, we need to target the areas where we have to improve. And this one will be a target for us also for the future. Also against maybe smaller team, we have to play 90 minutes, con a constant football, a consistent football. Um, because I think the match was 4-0 at the end, but with a bit more concentration, with a bit more team spirit. Uh, maybe it could have been six or seven or eight, and that's why I'm a bit disappointed, but uh, just from this part, from the global, my global uh, feeling is obviously very positive. Um, there's now uh, six months we're playing with um, three centre-backs. Um, it, it's not the most important, I would say, uh, for the fans or the journalists to see if we play with three or just with two or because it's what you do when you have the ball or what you do when you don't have the ball that it's important. Um, but I think we did find kind of a good stability now and it's difficult for me to touch uh, this stability because I remember in September we did uh, concede a lot of goals. Uh, we didn't have this stability. Now we have it. It's also our job to, to keep it and to do everything to stay I mean, now on the last six match, uh, we won five times, um, one draw, uh, just one goal conceded, five clean sheets. I, don't, I would say, uh, even if I say that before the match against Bulgaria, they know we're going to play with three center backs because the coach of Bulgaria has seen we've found stability like that. So 99% of chance, yes, we will play again with three center backs. And to finish, um, I also wanted to say thank you to the fans. Um, they came massively today. Uh, from the first minute to the last, they were here, and I'm really thankful for that. It was like against Spain um, nearly a year ago, and I hope uh, the 12th of June um, it will be exactly the same atmosphere and hopefully exactly the same result at the end.